Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads that the 2kg pendulum bob is released from rest when uh, it is at A. Determine the, ma the, the speed of the bob and uh, the tension in the cord when the bob passes through its lowest position B. Alright, so the question here is to find uh, is to find the speed of the bob and the tension in the cord uh, when the bob passes through its lowest position B. Okay, so this problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics. Uh, I mean the the dynamics engineering uh, mechanics, 14th edition by R. C. Bella. So let's draw the free body diagram. So we are saying we are here. Okay. So we are going to expect to if we have two coordinates here. We have uh, the normal and the tangential. And I use another color. And I use blue. So I have this one as well as this one. Okay. This point, that's the point of our interest. So this point here, this is N, normal. Uh, towards uh, the center of a uh, radius of curvature. Mm. So this is N, and this is T. So we do have, if we are to section this, if we are to section this, then we do have a tension force. We do have a tension force like so, uh, in that manner. Okay, and then we do have the weight, right? So let's label this. So this is W, which is just equal to mg. Uh, this is T. Okay, okay, all right. So this is what we have at the moment. So since only conservative forces are acting on this, which in our case is uh, just the gravitational force, therefore we can use uh, the conservation of mechanical energy. So it states that I can represent it in a formula. So we have kinetic energy, initial kinetic energy plus the potential energy. This potential energy includes gravitational and elastic is equal to the final um, kinetic energy plus the potential energy. Okay, so we know that our VA, we know that our VA is going to be equal to zero. Okay, and if we chose this to be our datum, if this is our datum, um, then HA is just going to be equal to zero. All right. And then um, we know that T itself is just equal to half M V squared and V is, is, is in two parts. We have uh, the gravitational okay and then we have the elastic all right but we know that this is not there this is all equal to zero okay so if we wrote this equation uh, we know that our ta is just equal to va which is just equal to zero and therefore we'll have a zero is equal to tb plus VB okay so zero is just equal to half M VB squared plus minus coming down here so it's a minus W H B okay. therefore our VB squared is just equal to um so this we can write this is equal to mg H B. Of course, this and this goes. Then we have this 
vb squared is equal to 2 2 g h b okay and then we square on both sides like so square this on both sides so this just becomes a vb is just equal to 2 g h b all right so this is our um, uh, our this is our speed of the bulb as it passes through the lowest point b okay all right <coughs> so the follow-up question we can write this i mean finish it off so g itself here g is just equal to 9.81 meters per second squared um and hb is just equal to 1.5 meters therefore vb is just equal to 2 by 9.81 uh, by 1.5 so if we worked out this then we have the following if we worked out this then we have uh, the following vb therefore is just equal to uh, equal to where is the calculator so all right uh, so this 2 by 9.81 by 1 1.5 um, square root of that this gives us 5.42 meters per second so 2 by 9.81 by 1 1.5 square root of that yeah so there we go we found uh we have found the velocity uh the speed of this particular bulb as it just passes b all right so let's now find uh, the tensions so we have the direction here of uh, our central pitot acceleration a n and let's say we have also here direction of our uh, velocity along the t-axis and this is equal to this is equal to uh, this is our vb there all right so applying the equations of motion we have summation we have summation of forces in the n direction going up in our reference this is equal to m a n and our a n is just equal to v b squared divided by rho um where rho is just equal to 1.5 uh v b we already know it we just calculated it is 5.42 m is equal to 2 kg and um we also know that g is just equal to 9.81 so if we apply the equations there we'll have t minus w equal to m a n therefore our t is just going to be equal to m a n plus w w can be written as m g so we can factor out m a n plus g therefore our t is just equal to 2 by 5.42 squared divided by 1.5 plus 9.81 therefore t in newton is equal to 5.42 squared divided by 1.5 plus 9.81 by 2 this gives us 58.79 newtons right so there we go so we have our velocity there uh vb uh, our velocity vb our speed vb and then we have the tension which is equal to 
right and this is the maximum tension that is um that this particular system is going to experience right so i hope this particular video was helpful but if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and sharing my channel bye, -bye. and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast